Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying up a variation of the high vis CDC caddis that I posted the other day. If you haven't seen that, I'll post the link above. This is just a variation of that same fly uh, using slightly different techniques. For the hook on this fly, I'm going to be using the same hook, which is an A-Rex Freshwater 503 in size 16. This is just a light wire dry fly hook that is barbless. Very good for these types of flies. For the thread, I'm going to be using Nano Silk 12 watt in brown again. You could use regular 70 denier thread if you would like, but this is just uh, the thread that I prefer. As the name implies, we're going to be using CDC for the majority of this fly. We're going to use two colors. The first color is Khaki Campbell from Swiss CDC, or any natural done or tan color will work. You just want a lighter color for the body. The Swiss CDC feathers are great though, as they're so long, so they work great for this style of fly. So go ahead and secure your feather directly behind the hook eye. As you see here, take wraps back into the bend of the hook just slightly. And once you get it where you want the length of the body, go ahead and bring your thread back to right behind the eye of the hook. Next, what you're going to do is take some hackle pliers and pinch the end of the hook, end of the feather. Go ahead and give it a twist as you see me doing here. And then just wrap this body or this feather all the way up the body until you get it where you want it. This is a super simple fly and super effective. Go ahead and secure the feather with two or three wraps in front of and behind and snip off the excess. If you want to, you can pinch off the fibers, which I do here. Uh, I think this fly fishes very well either way. That is just a personal preference. For the next part of this fly, I'm going to be grabbing some more CDC this time in brown. Uh, I just have a hairline pack of Super Select. This is actually done by 54 Dean Street, which is a company out of Europe, but they just, they make great CDC feathers just like Swiss CDC as well. This time I'm going to take two feathers because I'm using a size 16. If I was using a 14, I'd probably use three. Go ahead and line them up and tie them in right over the body of the fly. This is going to be what you could call the underwing on this fly. Again, just helps with the floatability. Next is the fake wing on this. This is Hemingway's Caddis Wings. These are a synthetic wing material made out of plastic. They come pre-cut, so all you got to do is punch them out and then fold them over like this, and they make a perfect caddis wing imitation. Once I've got that bent, I'm going to go ahead and tie it in as you see here. I want these wings to be slightly longer than the body, uh, probably about a third longer than the body as you see here. Again, if you look at a natural adult caddis, the wings overlap the body. For the hot spot on this fly, I just like to use a spare piece of 2 millimeter foam or scrap foam. You could also use some CDC in orange. You could use Antron or uh, a indicator yarn, whatever you prefer. For the head on this fly, I'm taking the remaining remainder of the two brown CDC feathers that I used for the wing or the underwing, and I'm going to line them up and put them in a dubbing clip like you see here. I'm then going to spin my thread counterclockwise and flatten my thread to create a split thread dubbing loop. Again, if you haven't seen my tip video on this, I'll include the link above. I'm going to go ahead and insert my CDC in the loop and just spread it out a little bit to make it where I want it. The nice thing about this type of head on this fly is the CDC doesn't need to be perfect in there. If you have longer fibers on one side or uh, longer butts on the one end, it's fine because it just fills in the space and again is just going to create a, a fly that floats nice and high. So I'm going to take touching wraps to the eye of the hook with that and then I'm going to go ahead and whip finish the fly. Again, this is a super simple and very effective fly for just about any time of year. Once I've got that whip finished, I'm going to go ahead and snip my thread and I like to just kind of gently preen these fibers out to make sure they're poking out the sides of the fly 
and make sure that my indicator is also a little bit more visible. Again, this is a CDC high-vis caddis variation, tie 